Hi friends, it's Velvet. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am just going to work on a jelly print, a jelly plate print that I had done. And um, I wanted to do some mark making on it. So I've grabbed some mark making tools. I did not grab any um, paper to roll off on. So let me just grab that. Um, let's go with this one because it's not it's not all used yet. I am not exactly sure what colors I want to use. I grabbed a couple. I'm just going to kind of try and protect my desk here. Um, I have recently made a couple of, um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I have recently made a couple of eraser, um, <laughs> mark making stamp things. So that's what, that's what I have been up to. I especially love that one. So I thought maybe I'd use those and they really work best with an ink rather than paint. So, um, I really, really love the turquoise and black together and the white. So I'm not absolutely certain I want to add other colors to it, but I do have, I've got this cheap white acrylic that I got out. Um, it adds, I'm dropping everything everywhere here. So I thought maybe I would use this here, this uh, mat. Um, and put some white marks on. I think this is probably a very thin, well, it's not too bad. So I thought maybe I would um, just kind of use the brayer. Let's do this too. Oh, that's really thin. Almost seems more like a paste than a like a thin paste. There we go. And that's okay. So it's very um, transparent, and I kind of like that. Um, for a more permanent mark, I can get out a better white, but that's kind of cool to kind of soften this a little bit. This is just copy paper that I had um, printed to. Okay, so that is a very thin, and this is by Crafter Square. I feel like I got this at the Dollar Tree or something, so... Um, and that's why it was so inexpensive. Um, but I do want to try these little eraser, eraser stamps that I made. And this is the Distress Oxide in Flex, I believe. Now this will react with water, so if I decide to spray any water or spray anything that's water-based on it, it could um you know it could react with that but i would be okay with that i'm just experimenting today there let's get several prints out of that this is the newest one that i made just a bunch of shapes really This is a lot of fun, and it's very, very inexpensive to do. I bought this pack of six um, erasers at Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter, if I'm not mistake mistaken. And so I've done three of them, and I like how they worked out. Now this will end up being collage fodder if I'm if all goes the way I want it to. <laughs> Um, 
yeah so and actually now that I think about it this uh, this uh, very kind of runny white paint would probably work on these erasers too I don't think I'd want to put anything real thick on them does this look like a piece of Swiss cheese <laughs> kind of reminds me of that all right so that's I think that now I bought two sets of these graphite sticks um, three of these are supposed to be water soluble and the other three non water soluble now, I just want to do a little testing because I'm pretty sure they are all water soluble But let's just, um, let me grab my, okay, that is water soluble. So I'm thinking all three of those are. Now, let's see. Um, yeah, that appears to be water soluble too. So I think I have to look these up and see where I got them and complain. <laughs> so yeah, I might, I wanted both. I wanted both so that I could make marks, use water. Yeah, that's definitely not. Or that's definitely water soluble. This is very nice too. So this pack here is water soluble. And that is by I mean they're all pretty much the same. This is by Wurlson or Wurtson. I can't really read it. Let me see. It says water soluble on that one. Just check all of them. That's water soluble, and the 10B is water soluble. I think they should all say it. Let's see. Um, this is from Lyra or Lyra. I do not see where it says that they're water soluble or not. I This is the pack that I thought was not water soluble. I'm just going to try something here. Just make sure there's no other, there's no color on here. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's, I think, well, maybe that's not really that water soluble but now I have gone through to the other side oh well anyway all right now what do we want to do we want to what we want to do now is add there is another light why can't I find a white I've got some speedball white this is water soluble that should be pretty runny, but I think, oh, no, it's not. It's pretty thick. So I was thinking that I would do some ecads. I would do some, uh, oh, yeah, that's nice and thick. A little sticky. Very cool. So I thought I would do, you know, stuff like this. Kind of my favorite thing, doing the circles. Okay. I hope I'm in frame. Yeah, it looks like I am. Okay. Um, I have these that I broke off from an egg carton. Let's just see what happens with it. interesting I like it it's a little it's 
It's a little grungy. Okay, cool. What else did I get out? Oh, I got out this, uh, the dog toy thing that I love. Love, love, love this. Isn't it cool? <laughs> I love that. What else? It's got these um, little dot things, too. But I'm not sure that picks up because I'm not absolutely certain that it touches well enough to do the dots. What I should do is I should cut this and make it into two pieces. Cut it here so that I can use the dot part of it. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Now, what else? This is a lid of something that I decided to bring down. Like that. making the straight lines too but I like doing them in threes I just feel like that's a more balanced look now let's see if we can roll some of this out oh, I think it's a little too dry already so this is obviously a oh I know what I can do let's water it and maybe we can do um some splatters of white. Let's see what happens. There we go. Oh, I love that. I love splatters so much. Just, I just think it adds some texture and interest. I mean, I go to town with these things. <laughs> Maybe it reminds me of like stars in the sky. I don't know. You know what? I think I'll splatter this, the rest of this over here on my roll off page. I think I'm probably getting this everywhere. In fact, I made this little cover for a little journal I'll do. Actually, why not splatter this, right? Oh, that's cool. Love it. Okay, so now I know that the Speedball White number 3403, the black printing ink, water it down, and it's really great for splatters, white splatters, if you want them. And I knew I did for this particular cover just to um, kind of lighten it because it's kind of dark. This was a... This was a... um roll off that I did on the gel plate with um, stencils. I'll probably put some black on here too, even though I'm trying to lighten it. I just think it'll add some interest. Cool, cool. So now that can dry. Maybe I'll just do it with this one. So this was just a piece of cardboard that happened to be folded like that. So I grabbed I happen to have an um, old dress pattern that had fallen out on the floor, so <laughs> I just grabbed that and covered it with it. Let's, why not try and add some splatters to this? My husband's family is in town from Canada today, or the weekend. It's Easter weekend. So they came down yesterday. No, they did not come down yesterday. They came down Thursday evening. And we had our Easter dinner yesterday because they'll, they'll drive back up tomorrow, which is Sunday, Easter, Easter Sunday. <laughs> um, so we wanted to make sure we got the dinner, the dinner in there. So I should have put some water in that. So this is what we've got so far. 
Really liking it. Um, but I think I need some more toys to play with. I'm going to cut a little piece off of here. What I should do is cut out a circle, but that's okay. This is that stuff I got from Timu. It's the refrigerator um, liner. And I had it down here. But um, every time I you did something on top of it, these bubbles would come through. And so I thought, well, why not leave one down here, use the other couple, and leave one down here to use for, um, for this, for mark making. I'm going to pause you for a second. Okay, I had to pause for a second because my husband came down and was making all sorts of noises. So. <laughs> all right, I have gotten out my black. I think this is bl the Blick. No, this is our Ar Arteco. I got this um, pretty inexpensive off, off of Amazon a little while back. So, um, yeah. So, I'm just going to do that. And get some of the black back in, but not huge globs of black, you know. just oh that looked kind of cool it um I got some of this up on the <laughs> cool you never know what you're gonna get out of something right and then I think I'll use this and get some more of that black in there really love this cute little dog toy. <laughs> it was so inexpensive off of Timu. There. Um, uh, what do I want to do? You know what? I'm going to water down the black and do, you can probably see it right from where you are and I'm not seeing it. My, oh, I put it in here. That's right. And I'm going to do some splatters with the black. I'm getting it everywhere. Okay. I'll bring this over and do some splatters. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that great? Oh, what else can I splatter? Because I've got so much left here. down here with me. Today was their doggy spa day. Lido, the older one, he is a mostly chihuahua with a little terrier. Um, so he has fur, not hair. So all he does is he gets his uh, nails clipped about once a month. Um, but Baxter is a Cairn Terrier. I think I've mentioned in past videos. It's a rescue. Um, and he has fur. Or no, he has hair. Right? He has hair, so it needs to be cut. Lido has fur, so it doesn't need to be cut. So, Baxter had to go and get his um, his hair cut. Today. So he's a little bit mad at Mommy. Which is funny, because when he, when he goes too long in between clippings... He gets really super itchy, and actually he is on, in the winter times, he has to be on 
prednisone for his itching. So you'd think he would be like really thankful because he comes home and he's not itchy anymore, right? Nope. I hate you, Mom. I hate you. You made me get a bath. Yeah. And so that's that's what it is. This looks really cool, doesn't it? But now I feel like there's a need for more white. Um, also, I need to roll off this black. There's a lot of black here. Just get that rolled off. That looks pretty cool on my roll-off sheet, which I know you can't see from there, but I'll show you when I'm done. Here, just so that the mess is kind of getting cleaned up. So it is a beautiful day here in upstate New York. It's only in the 40s, but it's sunny for a change, which is amazing. It was just such a dark and gloomy winter. Um, all right. What else can I do? What else can I do? Do I have another shape that I want to put into this? What other shape would I like to get in there? Hi, Baxter. Hello, Baxter. Um, oh, I've got some, I forgot about these. These, if I'm not mistaken, work best with ink, not, um, they work best with ink, not paint. I'm just seeing what I've got for a white ink and I'm not, do I have? I'm absolutely certain that I have a white ink here somewhere. It's just that I don't use my inks much anymore since I don't really um, make cards as much as I used to. So, oh, here's a white. Let's see how it works. And of course, there, okay, there's Bax. Can you see the Baxy? There's little Baxter. <laughs> with this little haircut. Hi, can I share this seat with you, please? You're kind of, you're, mommy's too big to share the seat with you, honey. All right, so let's try this. Let's see how it works. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, it does not work with ink. <laughs> I thought it did, but I guess it's paint that it works with. But I think on um, these stamps, you need to get the paint off quick. So, oops, you okay, Bax? <clears throat> Either way, I am going to use the Speedball because it's, a, it's thicker than the other stuff, and I don't want it to be transparent. So, I've got black dots everywhere on this surface here. Okay, let's see. Oh, yes, it does work. I like it. Okay, so it's paint that works on these wood stamps. And now you know. You heard it here. I'm just going to stamp off the rest. Actually, I don't want to stamp off the rest because I got out this one too. So I'm going to use this one. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? But I am going to stamp off the rest on my um, roll-off sheet. And that way, and I don't immediately take this to the bathroom and wash it off. I don't have to feel too guilty because I'm stamping it off anyway. And in just a second, I'll show you my roll-off page. All right. I think that's as clean as it's going to get for right now. Here's my roll-off page so far. It's just basically got uh, black, gold, and white now. Um, I am going to do this just to... There. 
that is going on the roll off page. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't think I want to put anything more on this, but I do kind of want to wait till it's dry and put that transparent white on just to, just to kind of smooth it out. Um, and so that it looks a little bit more cohesive. <clears throat> and I don't want to really smear those black dots that I've got. So I'll go like that. Let's close this so I don't wreck it. It's a pretty good white actually. There we go. Very liquidy. Very, very liquidy. So I just kind of wanted to go. There we go. There, just to, I don't know, I guess tone it down a little bit. There. That looks a little bit better to me. I think I think it's done. I think I'm done with this. I don't think I want to do anything else. I like the three colors that it is. It may look bland or something to someone else, but I really like this. I'm not going to add anything more to it. So there you have it. That is... That is my project for today. Now I have to clean everything up because I have made a disaster on my desk. And I'm going to work a little bit on my um, next uh, journal that I'm doing, which is going to be... Um, so I did this cover the other day. I don't think I've... I don't think I have put it in... Put it on any of my... Any of my um, videos yet. So this is a piece of fabric... This may be a Tim Holtz fabric. It looks like it could be. I'm not absolutely positive. Um, but it is a book that I took apart, added the fabric to, and then um, I put together these three signatures. Each signature has seven pages. This is a digital download. Um, and then the backing, like this backing, I don't think was part of this particular digital download, but... And it's got some of my um, coffee dyed paper, and then there's a Poor Richard's Almanac page that I had coffee dyed. This one, this signature has a bag, a Hallmark bag in it. Um, and then the last signature also has um, a piece of coffee dyed paper. I may put a doily in here as well in each signature. I'm not positive, but the three, as they are, fit perfectly in this book without creating a gator mouth and um, should give me enough space to decorate the pages. And I've got a lot of decorations for these pages because I can basically use anything, anything black, anything gold, anything off-white, anything tan. Um, it works. But I'm not absolutely certain that I like the black and gold with this cover. So I may actually do a different cover for these and you and in here use something else because I have a ton of signatures made up ready to go. So we'll see. It's just that I like the way those three fit in there and I really like this cover. So we'll see what happens, but this is going to be the next project I work on. All right. Now, thank you so much for tuning in, for stopping by, for hitting the like button subscribing, everything you do, I appreciate and I want you to know that. Have a great day. Bye.